So what about music software for my latest acquisition? No. No. Oh, good lord, no. Impressive little music sequencer. Given this is only for kids, no outboard equipment necessary. Because there's not much to it, and for chip tuning, it's rather ideal. Notes and functions are entered by real time pressing of the keyboard. Hopefully, it shouldn't sound like a dog's breakfast. But that's just me, for the time being. It's very responsive, and there's a hell of a lot that can be teased out of the sound chip for this rather limited BBC. I think I'd use it more as a real-time thing. Copying to the PC itself when compiling tracks rather than save it all in here, but I do have the option. There are plenty of other features I wouldn't have expected on an early 80s music thing. Like individual note editing and full envelope processing. To give the kind of tunes which, well, with application, could have me sound a bit like this. Well, the music's not so good, but it's fairly nice. It's a very limited little recorder, but also handles step and three staves, though unfortunately not at once. So why are they displayed at the same time? There are just the basics, a few voices, but it's okay. And I can certainly play it in real time anyway, for more versatility in recording. And I've also piano on the Acorn Electron introductory tape. Too bad, barely passable, like so many others, only monophonic. Could find a use for it, I suppose, if I didn't have the Commodore 64 Music Maker packages already. Though one really sweet package using only the internal sounds is Beep Synth, which sold for a nice £3 in the mid-80s. With the top benefit of this real-time synth package being the ability to play envelopes, the handy one-line sound effects as found all over BBC books. Not even the Commodore 64 can do it this easy. Which is why I like a nice combination of different bits and pieces. But of all I'm interested in, this is the monster.
with the music system being a far more powerful multi-channel sequencer package with linker facilities and a pretty damn fine notator section with copious editing facilities although it is a bit fiddlier to operate than the Commodore version which can have a far more successful envelope processor because it's a real synth in there of course it doesn't help I don't know too much about music and that some of the features don't appear to work for example the octave shifts and what have you and if I do want to set the tempo it has to be done at the beginning so I'd like on the Commodore I can't even change it on playback but what I do get is a handy enough keyboard recording system where I can shuffle about the sound effects very easily especially using presets and just get down a few doodles there and through the iconic sound of the bleepy BBC which thanks to a hardware mod I can actually put through the hi-fi system best you'll get from me though I also don't like compared to the Commodore version now I need this extra disk to convert working files between different bits and bobs inside the actual system itself going from one module to the other for example the recorder to the envelope generator on the Commodore 64 you don't have to bother with that at all it just retains what you've done throughout the rest of the system so I don't know what's going on there and there's no compatibility with MIDI either so no master files can be played through electronic musical instruments outboard but on the whole for a quick doodle on the BBC it is far better than nothing and a wonderful novelty no much as that tried to be a pro package well it was a good first attempt after all there's a nice simple free attempt to get some music going the simplest random music generator I can think of. <laughs>